Hello, welcome to Gospel Faith Television UK and today's topic is um, Beyonce is a successful black female artist hear that again today's topic on gospel faith television uk is beyonce is a famous black female artist now that's the picture of beyonce but in case you're wondering why did I choose this topic today? I want to make it clear to you. It's because I was reading the Metro newspaper on July the 5th. I think that was Thursday on the Thursday. And I had the shock of my life. I saw the waxwork, the waxwork, no, not the waxwork, the wax work, work, the waxwork of Beyonce, as in the sculptures, they create this image and they put it in Madame Two Swords. It's a public. It, exhibitionist place in Baker Street somewhere in West London and um yeah so the sculptures they created this wax work this wax work this wax work what's wrong with me today this wax work of Beyonce and the title the Beyonce is Michael Jackson now the reason why they titled it or themed it Beyonce is Michael Jackson is because Michael Jackson himself became white. He changed his, his skin color to white. So the creators of this Beyonce sculpture, they've turned Beyonce into a white woman. Straight, blonde hair, white skin. I mean, they've gone over the top. And to say that I was surprised is an understatement. Because we all know that Beyonce is the most successful R&B black, hear that again, black female artist in history, in the world and in history as well. So... For the sculptures to create this wax work of Beyonce and turning her image into a complete white woman is fake, it's nonsensical, it's irrelevant, and um. Basically, it's the wrong image. It's an insult to black people and what we represent. Hear that again. I said Beyonce is the most successful black female R&B artist of all time. So to create a, wax, a white wax work of Beyonce and you're going to put it in an exhibition center in the middle of London in Madame Tussauds, Baker Street is a complete falsification. It's a stereotype and it's a miseducation and it's an insult to black people. It's funny because I'm sure millions of black people saw this article in the Metro newspaper of the singing female sensation, black sensation, 
Beyonce, how she's been rep misrepresented in the newspaper. And most black people, they don't say nothing. They tighten their lips. You know, Beyonce, she, as a black lady, she achieved so much success. And that's down from her songwriting abilities. And that's from her vocals and her, her great stage presence and performances. So I remember that song. I think that song came up in the 90s or in the early millennium. It was Destiny's Child. And obviously, Beyonce, Destiny's Child is a black R&B female group. A black R&B female group. And Beyonce is the lead singer. So I remember that song, Independent Ladies. I don't know if it's written by Beyonce. I don't know if it, but I know that it's sang by Destiny's Child. And Beyonce is the lead singer. The shoes I'm wearing, I bought it. The house I'm living, I bought it. The clothes I'm wearing, I bought it. The watch I'm rocking, I bought it. The house I live in, I bought it. Cause I depend on me if I want it. Shoes I'm wearing. <clears throat> I bought it. House I'm living, I bought it. Clothes I'm wearing. Cause I depend on me. All the ladies truly pendant. Throw your hands up at me. All the ladies dropping dollars. Throw your hands up at me. All the mamas dropping dollars. Throw your hands up at me. All the mamas dropping dollars. Throw your hands up at me. Mm, 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 yeah. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Beyonce in the building, independent ladies. <laughs> Throw your hands up at me. Mm, 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 yeah. Mm, 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 yeah, come on. Mm, 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 yeah. Mm, yeah, mm, mm, yeah, come on. So, you know, to create this image or waxwork, whatever it is you want to call it, of Beyonce as a white woman. I felt insulted myself. I felt like I was going to throw up. I felt sick. And this is proof again that black people don't have no voice all around the world. It's an ins insult to all the black parents out there. Beyonce is a black parent herself. Beyonce is a black African American. So whoever created this wax work has done his best to to paint this image to look completely white. I wish I could get any closer to this. To look completely white. What a shame. This is another gimmick or another tactic of trying to ruin, ruin, ruin the black culture. R&B music was, has been originated from Africa, black Africans and black Americans took it up upon themselves to go that far. And Beyonce is one of the major representatives of R&B black music. I mean, the other day, a couple, like last week, Usher, he won like an outstanding achievement on BET for R&B music. Usher's not a white man. Usher's a black man. So one day they're going to make a waxwork of Usher and paint him as a white man as well. This, this video is going somewhere. You just wait till the end. So when, you know, Apparently, when 
I saw this image of Beyonce. Sorry. Looking exactly like a white woman. Look at that. This is a white lady, man. Beyonce looking like a white woman. I thought to myself, there's, a, there's an agenda in place here. Because this is exactly how Jesus Christ is image as well. Has gone from being a complete black man. And it's been turned into a complete white man. And that image has been circulating all over the world. Jesus Christ is a black man. This is the same tactic that they used. Beyonce has gone from being black to being a white woman. And Jesus Christ has gone from being Yeshua, a Mashiach, that's his African name, a black man, to somebody that I don't even recognize no more, myself. You know, Beyonce being transformed from a black woman into a white woman, we're talking about females here, tells me that Mary, the mother of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, was a black woman also. Because if Jesus Christ is a black man, his mother can't be any other race. Jesus, Mary, the mother of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, is a black woman. So Beyonce, in this wax work, has a tarnished image. Yes, our, un our unborn children that's going to come into this world, like in the next 50 years or in the next 60 years, they're going to say, oh, there was a, a lady. They're going to say there was a white female artist in America. She was American and her name was Beyonce. They're going to make films about Beyonce as a, as a, as a, as a, a white lady. Just like Cleopatra in the movies is a white lady. This is the evidence that I'm talking about. 50 years from today, on Warner Brothers, Hollywood, they're going to make a, a film about Beyonce and all her greatness and all her hits. But it's, it's going to be a white woman. That history has been taken away from black people again. It means black history keeps on getting washed away. It keeps on getting cut off. This is the miseducation that I'm talking about. This is a rebranding in itself. This is a business. Taking away the black greatness. Away from us. And claiming it. I don't even know what to say. I've run out of words. But you got the, you got the message. The message today is. Beyonce is a black woman and Beyonce is the most successful black, 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 black female artist of all time. Hold tight. Peace, yo. That's right.